Aquaculture is a growing economic activity over the world. However, infectious diseases caused by bacteria and viruses are hampering their optimal development. These infectious pathogens cause very important economic losses due to the mortalities provoked by the pathogens directly and by their effects on fish growth and food conversion rates. To prevent infectious disease outbreaks, fish vaccination is the most appropriate method to control pathogens and provide safe fish products to the consumer from controlled fish. The fish immune system consists of an innate immune system and an adaptive immune system. The innate immune system provides a first line of defense to pathogen encounter. For example, the skin as a barrier for pathogen entry would be an innate defense mechanism. On the other hand, the adaptive immune system is stimulated by exposure to an antigen and increases in magnitude and defensive capacities with each successive exposure to this particular microorganism. Adaptive immunity involves two defensive responses. The humoral response is mediated by B cells by producing antibodies that recognize microbial antigens, neutralize their infectivity, and help with their elimination. Cellular immunity, on the other hand, is mediated by T cells, promoting the destruction of pathogens and the elimination of infected cells. Vaccination takes advantage of the existence of an adaptive immune system. Thus, by exposing the fish to inactivated pathogens or small parts of pathogens, vaccines train the immune system so it is prepared to respond quickly and strongly to a specific pathogen. The European Commission promotes an environmentally, socially, and economically sustainable aquaculture by funding research projects addressed to improving fish health and welfare, increasing the productivity and competitiveness of European aquaculture. In 2012, the European Commission funded a large collaborative research project known as Target Fish. Target Fish brought together leading European research groups and commercial companies from different European countries to optimize existing, although not sufficient, vaccines and develop new vaccination strategies against different viral or bacterial pathogens for different farm species including Atlantic salmon, rainbow trout, common carp, sea bass, sea bream and turbot. Understanding how fish immune system reacts to the potential vaccines is essential for their development. Target fish has built on immunological knowledge to tackle all the aspects that need to be investigated when designing a new vaccine, the antigens, the delivery methods, and the adjuvants. Possible side effects or safety issues associated with the use of conventional as well as novel antigen-adjuvant combinations developed during the project have also been considered. All the results we have obtained throughout the project can be found on our project webpage. Thus, now that target fish is finalized, we can say that we have significantly advanced our immunological knowledge on how fish respond to vaccination and, consequently, we have rationalized fish vaccine design and have brought closer to market novel vaccines that can prevent the most economically relevant pathogens and contribute to the generation of completely safe, antibiotic-free fish products to the European market.